G'day and welcome to another video confidence coach tutorial. Today we're doing Canva. So let's get started. And before you're wondering, if you're wondering why a video confidence coach is teaching how to use Canva, which is a video, so which is an image manipulation thing, you'll find out. I, the reason I am teaching you guys Canva is because it's free and easy to use for when you need to create social content, ebooks, um, PDF things. Um, I can, and today, I'm at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a YouTube thumbnail, like the one that you saw at the start of this video. So, we're going to have a look at Canva, the layout, as you can see up here, and we'll move on through that. So, this is currently uh, from one of my clients. Um, and he's doing a beautiful job with it too. So you guys can learn more too. All right, so we'll go off, we'll start off with the opening screen. I know it seems a bit overbearing that, wow, everything's here, but I'll, I'll go through it with you, okay? All right, so f first we have on the top left-hand side, we have um, information of well, your account. This is blurred out because it's an example, but that's where the information will be. Underneath, you've got a create a design button and you've got all your, in this section, you've got little tabs very much like you would on any website or like using OneNote or anything um, like a PowerPoint presentation, for example. So you've got your designs. Again, these are ones I've already created for examples to show you. We've got shared with you. So other Canva users sharing designs with you, say from another business, another team, they can share them with you through the Canva app. Your team members. Now these are people that um, can be a part of um, your Canva team for your business um, and can gain access to your um, designs and templates to be able to use it um, themselves. And in the um, fourth one down, we have your brand. Now, obviously, I am showing you the free version. It has a lot of um, great abilities with the free version. There are some limitations, though. So if you do want to utilize, say, for example, like up here, we've got fonts or logos or upload your specific font for your business, you may have to pay for a business description, which is not that much. But personally, I just use the free version because that's all I really need. Um, if I want to do anything more, I'll just use the Photoshop that I have paid a lot of money for. <laughs> but you can see here you've got brand colors. So you've got three colors to choose for for the use of your brand. Now these will um, help you create content throughout just so it fits your brand colors. And then down below you have find templates, which allows you to purchase templates um, created by other users um, to use for your content. And I know you see a lot of good designs here, but we'll move on first. And then you can create folders of your content if you've got a bit too much stuff. I should probably do that myself, actually. <laughs> but we'll work on there. Now, this is back to the all your designs section at the top. We're moving on to the right, which is create a design. Now, I'm going to open up the more section where you can see everything. So now you can see all these designs. Now, don't be shocked with the amount of them. These help you, um, these give you templates to the size and allow you to create them for s different things. So say, for example, a so social graphic that you would use on, say, um, Twitter or Instagram is different size to a Facebook post specifically. Same thing for a presentation or a poster. They are different sizes and therefore they'll have different templates or um, guidelines that they can use so you don't have to start from scratch every time. Scrolling down, you can go through social media posts, documents, blogging and ebooks, my personal favorite by the way, um, <laughs> marketing materials that you can use for whatever you need, um, social um, media and email headers, and then events and ads. Um, if there's something that doesn't fit your exact needs, you can always just look at the size and think, okay, um, I don't see anything specifically for this specific um, size that I want, but I know it's kind of like a smaller A4 page, so I can just, you know, click on the A4 and then design it from there. As long as you've got the relative size, you should be fine. So I'm going to click up to the top right hand side where I'm going to click exit because I'm going to show you something else. And down here um, in the bottom area, you will see all your designs. So like I've said, I've already got three designs here that I've already created for, um, for my particular client. I've got an image template where we can put in images. I've got a um, quote template where we can um, quotes that he um, that my client says or that people find very useful. We can easily put that together for him. And then an article image whenever he wants to share a specific article from his blog, he can put that together for put that together for you. So what I'm going to do is we are going to create one from scratch, and you're going to see how it works. 
right in the thick of it. Now before I move on, I want to tell you that this currently is the March 2018 version. They do update as they go, but more or less things stay the same. So hopefully this tutorial will be helpful for you when you do watch this. So we're going to move to the more section at the top right hand corner. Click there. And remember, you can always use custom dimensions here as well, but I don't recommend using them because you don't get to use templates, which is usually the, the funnest part of Canva. So we're going to scroll down and all the way to social media and email headers. And I'm going to select YouTube thumbnail. So remember, this is the image that you use on a YouTube video when um, you don't see the video rolling. You don't see what's contained in the video, but you see an image that looks kind of cool. And that's what we're going to create now. So I'm going to click that. From there, it's going to open up um, a new tab. And then from there, we'll have a crack at what we've got. All right, so moving from top left, down and across. So we'll see here, I will show you where every all the items are that you can edit, you can change, everything is customizable within Canva. So we're going to start off with the search button over here. And just to keep in mind that this Canva button at the top left hand side of the screen takes you back to the home page. We're not going to use it yet, but you can use that once you've finished your design. So we've got the search functionality where you can search their database for images where you can use free items like that making sure that whenever you do select something it has to have free in the bottom right hand corner of the icon or image if it has something like pro or one dollar usd you have to pay for it um, but the good thing is you can always keep that in your library and use for future endeavors so if you want to do that fine but usually i find there's plenty of options to use in the free options as well and if you want to you can just download something from your own collection and use that too so you have the option to look for things, search for items, um, search for certain templates, um, whatever you really fancy is if you can't find it. So we're going to move down to layouts and then I'll tell you what to do next. So layouts are very much like templates. Templates can be used um, like, for example, I'm going to click the best way to style funky pieces together. So you can see that I click that and it's already appeared in my main working area, which I will get to later on in this tutorial. But you can see that I can drag photos on top of that. I can change the text and I'm going to undo that because that doesn't look pretty. <laughs> and I can change the text. I can move it around. I can change sizes and colors. But the idea is they give you a platform to work off with these templates. Again, some templates are paid. Um, most of these are free at the start, but sometimes go, uh, scrolling further down, you'll see here where I, I hover over it and it has a, pri um, a dollar sign in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see that it costs something. Again, if you want to do it, you can. You don't have to. You can always start from scratch, which I will also teach you how to do. So there's plenty of options in here. They're always colorful. There's always different styles. So if there's anything that you want to, I highly recommend starting off with the template because it allows you to get going. But if you want to start from scratch, you can also do that. So if you're starting from scratch, this is where you need to go to. So you're going to start off with elements, which is on the left hand side, again, below layout, below layouts or the templates, where you've got options of using their free photos, um, grids to be able to align photos together in a nice pattern, um, frames, which obviously frame the image or um, item that you put in it, shapes, very, shapes and lines very much like you find on PowerPoint or Word, um, illustrations and icons are very much the same as in just line drawings, very simple. Charts, I don't use them too much, but hey, if you want to do a graph, who's stopping you? <laughs> and I love Canva, which is cool stuff like that. I might, I've, earned, I've never used them before, but I might actually use it for this video. I don't know, I might do that. Mm. But you can go, all you need to do is just click into these options, scroll down and see what you need. So say for example, I chose a grid. I'm going to click on this one here and it's going to space it out um, onto my work platform, the right size I need to. And all I'm going to do is get something and then just drag it on and it's going to put there straight away. Now I know I've gone a bit too fast there, but I'm just going to show you what it can possibly do. Then I'm going to go back and show you how to do it properly. So I'm just going to go control Z and get out of that. And now I'm going to move down to the text section. So very much like in PowerPoint, Word, or any other um, designer of choice, you have um, options of different fonts and different sizes. So you have a heading, you have a subheading, or a little body of text. Now down below are very much like the templates I showed you before, or the layouts, where they have different forms of letters arranged in very modern, stylistic ways. So if there's something that you want to look like a certain flavor or way, you can just go through and say, here, 
Hmm, I like that. I'm going to click. It's going to appear on the one I'm working on at the time. Done. I've made a thing. And, organize, and I can also change the color and aspect too. So again, undo, undo, undo. We've fixed it. <laughs> and what I've just done is control Z, get back. And now moving further down the left-hand side, you have background. Now this allows me to change the background of my image, usually the white section, um, to different patterns, which you can see here that are free. And if you scroll down a little bit further, there are some paid ones as well, like these Christmas themed ones, for example. Or you can just choose a plain color. So for example, I'm gonna choose this orange and it's changing that background color to a bright orange. Or a pattern, and it's gonna do that too. You can do whatever you feel works with you, what flavor you like. But essentially it's always easy and you can always um, undo something. And we're going to move down to uploads. Now here I have already done the task of uploading some images from stocksnap.io. You can see that in our freebie that I mentioned in the description. Um, my freebie for um, royalty free images that you can use in your marketing. Check it out below. Think we so you can see here that I've already uploaded plenty of images um, that I can use to re replace this one. And you can see when I hover over it, it's going to say drag to drop to replace this photo. So I'm going to get a shot of this lovely lady with the red flowers. I'm going to drag it over, let go, and there we go. All done. And essentially, you can upload these y yourself. So I'm going to click upload my images. It's going to open up a desktop area and I've blurred that because it's my, d my own desktop which is really messy but I will deal with it I promise and here you can see my images so here are some um, images that I've downloaded that I like the look of um, scroll down till I, I like one I like let's do this one and this one and this one and this one um, you can select multiples via this method um, by going control on a Windows or command on a Mac and then you simply click open now this will download the images one by one and you can see down here that it's going to tell you how much it's going to take and if your internet's a bit slow it might take a little while but it'll be fine. So then you can use these images within your work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to move to the right, show you where everything is and then we're going to get in and start editing um, an image. So you can see that's one of the images I uploaded. All I need to do is quickly drag and drop. Look at that, it's all done. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to the layouts, which is usually my first one, and I'm gonna go up to file. So you can hover over file at the top left, and it allows you to show you what type of image it is, um, what type of template you've chosen. If you want to resize it, um, I believe that is a paid function, but again, if you need to resize it for whatever reason, you can do that. Save, if um, usually Canva does auto save, but sometimes it needs a little bit of help, so feel free to do that. And make a copy if you want to make it again, just with a different change. Resize, you can see here, it's got a crown option, which is known as the pro version. So if you want to resize it for different things or different printouts, it is a paid um, thing, so you will have to give money for that. But you don't need it if you don't want it. And following on from that, we've got undo and redo. Again, fairly simple to use. You undo what you don't like and redo if you do, if you did like it. And then also you've got the help section. So if there's anything that's really bugging you and I haven't addressed it, feel free to comment in the YouTube comments below or click on the help, um, click on the help section to get you through. And moving on further on to the right, you'll see this italic text, which will be changing as soon as it auto saves. So it says, all changes are saved. I'm going to quickly just change um, this thing. And it says saving and then unsave changes. And then eventually it will click and save. There you go. All changes, all are sa changes are saved. Moving on further to the right is the title. Now, because I didn't give it one, it's just taking whatever text I've typed in. I advise giving it a title so you can find it, but it's your choice. Moving further on the right, you can share this via social media, um, via links, via embed, whatever you like. And then obviously download and order prints. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to download first and then we're going to get to the editing. 
So once you do something you like, say for example, I've chosen this, I've replaced it with this image that I like, I've done the, let's imagine I've done the text and I've done all that, and I want to download it to my computer. So I can upload it to my social media, that I can put it wherever I need to, that I can print it off, that I can do whatever I want. You click the download, and here it gives you different types. Now say for example, if you're doing an ebook, it will usually give you a PDF, but you can choose to do, to do JPEGs. And here, there are JPEG, PNG, PDF, and PDF print. Because there's different options when you're printing something, there may be difference in colors. But I want to use PNG like recommended because that's what I want to use it for. I want to use this on my YouTube video. PNG is still good. Or JPEG as well. Um, and if I want to have a transparent background, obviously that costs money, but most of the time you don't need it. So you click the green download button. And from here you'll see a pop-up where it says, hold tight, we're getting it done, don't panic. And it is. Now sometimes this might take a little while if you've got a lot of detail or a lot of work within your item. But most of the time it should be fairly quick. And once that's done, it'll pop up with a folder, very much like we did for the upload, and you'll be able to download it wherever you want. Because I'm using a different browser than what I usually do, it's doing something else. But <laughs> essentially, I'm going to save this to my desktop, because I can, and that is what I'm going to do. We're going to save it to my desktop. Look at that. So now that I've saved it to my desktop, I can use that... Um, for uploading it to social media, for uploading it to my YouTube, for whatever uses I feel like, or giving it to a client, whatever you need. And then you can see here that it says the design should already be ready and is downloading, or if it isn't, you always click this link here. That's because sometimes technology doesn't always work and sometimes fails us, but the point is you still read and carry on. All right, and also you can share, tweet, and email this too, just in case. So you usually click the X, and then we'll get on to editing. Let's get ready. So we're going to edit one of these things. So what I usually do is when I open up, I go to the layout section and pick a template. Now I'm going to scroll through, I want, uh, what's a good example? I want this one. Now you see when I click this, it says replace page content. That means the image that I've just worked on, it says you're going to replace this, are you sure you want to do that? And sometimes you might not want to do it and that's an accident. So what you can do in the main working area, you just do this by clicking off, you scroll down to the main working area and it says add new page. This is very much like a slide or a new page on a Word document where you click on that and it comes up with a brand new slide for you to work from. So all I need to do is just click the, uh, the item that I plan to use, and there it is, and I've still got the one that I was working on previously, right there, in the working area. So, since we're in the working area, I might tell you what it's about. So, this allows you to create different images or pages within a series, it allows you to create a whole bunch of things, it allows you to copy and manipulate and see how you go, especially when you use ebooks, because ebooks require multiple pages, and to put multiple pages together, you need multiple slides. And there you go. Now we're going to get into the editing phase. So I'm going to scroll down and see here. So I want to change this image of this dude doing stuff. And when I click on it, you see that I come up with options up the top. Up the top, I can change the color. I can add a filter to the image, f um, various filters of whatever I like. Um, you can crop the image if it's a bit too big or a bit too small. I can flip it around, flip it vertically if I so choose. Um, work on spacing. So if it's a bit, if there's, an, um, if there's, um, I need some space around the image, around the border, I can just do spacing or not, whatever I feel like. I can copy the image to use within the same um, page, or I can just copy and drag it up until the um, the outside of this first slide becomes blue, which means that whatever I'm dragging onto it is taking effect. I let go and there's the image. I'm going to delete that because I don't like that. And you can also arrange, which is very much like um, in PowerPoint where you have a lot of images or a lot of icons in the same area and one needs to be in front of the other. You can arrange in front or backwards. Um, you can work on the transparency, as in you can make it non-existent or somewhat transparent. And then, because most of these images can be used in PDFs as well, you can also apply a link to them. 
So if you want to give people a link in a PDF, they can just click on that link within the PDF. And that's how you do it from here. And again, the trash can is where you can delete the page. No, you don't delete the page. You delete the thing that you're working on. <laughs> so that's what you can do. So I'm going to change this image because he's cool, but he's not that cool. All right, I'm going to change him with a lady. And I think she's a bit too bright, so I'm going to make her more dramatic. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so you see what I've done, and I've done that within a couple of clicks, so it's actually quite easy and quite intuitive. And again, I'm going to click here. It's um, blue. I don't really like it. I'm going to make it orange. And I've done the wrong thing. That is silly me. So I'm going to click undo to fix what I've just done. So you can see that I what I did there is I got the wrong thing, so I went, okay. I'm going to click undo. Um, that must be a background. So I'm going to click the background area. And it's still not right. So because most templates are made by other users of Canva, not all of them make sense. So, okay, I think I know what it is. So it turns out this is also an image, the gray area. So what I can do is, right, I got it now. So that's also an image. That's why that wasn't working. There is a little bit of trial error involved, especially when you're when you first start out, but that's the point of these things. Lovely creative design. Now I'm going to change the text. As soon as I click the text, you see that it comes around with the box and we've got all these options at the top. All right, so you can see here that I can change the text and the font. I can change the size, the color, if it's bold or italic, which way it sits. Um, which one's this? Yes, if it's uppercase or lowercase if it's got dot points and the spacing of it. And then again, to the right, you have copy, arrange, transparency, link, and delete. I'm gonna change this to video, when I spell video right. Confidence coach toot, because I can't spell tutorial. So you can see here that it doesn't all fit. So what we can do in this situation is that I can highlight all the text and take it down a bit. Therefore, it fits. But it's a bit too small. So I'm just going to fiddle around and see what I like. And what you can always do is if you want it really big, like this, maybe let's not make it that big, you can always move these bubbles on either side to elongate the space that you have to work with. There we go. It's the same size, but I can fit as much as I want in it. And there you go. I've moved it, I sat it, I clicked off in the gray space, and now I have a um, cover all to myself. But I'm gonna change the beginner's guide. Or technically this should be, I don't know. Sometimes it comes up with good ideas. But you'll see that I'll click this area, I'm gonna make it my signature orange. And there you go. We've created one, and I'm gonna show you how to download again. So you can see that I want to download it. The first one I didn't really like so much, so I'm going to use like we do in Word, PDF, or PowerPoint, is I click the two, because it's the second page, and then I download it. And it downloads as one image as opposed to downloading everything that you've created. So while it does that, and now it's downloaded. So I can use this on my social media, on my YouTube, on my website, or wherever I want to use it. Now with Canva, there are multiple possibilities that you can use this program for. So I highly recommend trying it out, seeing how you go with things, um, changing colors, changing templates, doing whatever you feel works for you. But essentially, I want this um, product to be used to its fullest potential for you. Okay? Do that. I expect to see something. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. Um, feel free to check out any of our freebies on the Video Confidence Coach public Facebook group. You can just check that out in the link below. And you can check out any of the freebies I've mentioned also in the link below. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to comment um, on here or on the Facebook group and I'll get around to answering them. Feel free to follow us on social media. And if you have any ideas for other tutorials that you want to know about, let us know too. All right. I will see you later and bye-bye.